Hey everybody, welcome back. In a recent video, we made a homebrew 20 meter, one and one half wavelength inverted V dipole. And we mounted it here on the on a spider beam mast 40 feet high on the gator here. We ran out 20 meters, made some contacts, and I wanted to come out today and see how it would operate across different bands. Uh, 80, 40, 20, if we can get to 17 and 15, and one see if the if we could tune it up, match it, and make some calls. And also we're going to do some whisper tests on it too, half watt whisper tests, just to kind of see uh, how it performs at the other bands too. So we're going to give it a try. Um, you can watch the other video and see how we did things on that. I'll just do a quick recap on the setup here and then we'll get right to some uh, some testing. So come on, let's go. So on the spider beam, I just uh, got it electrical taped to the tip here and uh, we'll get it launched up in the air. We have the gator which is supporting our 40 foot spider beam going up and we have one leg going off to the west, pointing west, 48 feet piece of wire, and then it's tied off with a string down to a post, which is right over there somewhere, I think. And then the other side facing east, 48 foot piece of wire going down, tied to a string, and the string's tied to a steel or a, a fence post over there. And we've got the ladder line coming around and go into our uh, MTech ZM2 uh, matching unit and using the FX4CR radio. And we'll be using the Whisper app on our phone to transmit the Whisper data signal. Uh, we'll hold it over the radio, we'll push to talk and send the signal via the internal mic on the radio and the radio will be set for 500 milliwatts, a one half watt power. Here was our first test on 80 meters. We got six spots, six stations that heard us. And it was around uh, 8.30 this morning. And you can see we had quite a bit of sun already. I didn't uh, attempt to make any contacts. Uh, mostly it was just nets on the air and I didn't want to break into any of those. So we don't have any contacts on 80 meters, but we have the whisper report. And here's our second test. We performed on 40 meters. We got 58 spots. And this was around 8.45 this morning, uh, Iowa time. We had a pretty good omnidirectional radiation pattern around my station here. All right, trying to get you out of the noise here. I got Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, Kilo Roger, Roger, Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, your 5757 five, Iowa, over. And the results on 20 meters, we had 63 spots taken around uh, 1045 AM. We picked up uh, Hawaii and Central America. Foxtrot, this is Kilo 5, Foxtrot Echo Lima. This is the YL system, first period. Uh, kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, are you in there, Kevin? Yeah, good morning, thank you. Uh, you're a good 5.9, five, 5.9 nine, five, nine this morning. I'm running one watt, one watt out here uh, portable, over. And here's the results of 17 meters this morning, taken around 11, 15 a.m. Uh, slide over here, we got a uh, Australia station. Just curious what his signal report was. Neg 21, okay, that's what he had me at. And uh, we also got quite a few European stations over here. Uh, just tap on one and kind of see neg six f1 echo yankee golf got me at a neg six so there's the results of 17 meters this morning around uh 11 15 a.m roger roger you're five five fifty five over 
Uh, five whiskey, five whiskey, over. And here's, look at 15 meters. Again, all these whisper tests are at 500 milliwatts. And uh, we've got 65 spots around 1135 this morning. We had some good DX into Europe and it uh, looks like North Africa there. Thank you for the 5573. And here's the results of the 12 meter band. We got 36 spots in Hawaii and North Africa with a little bit of Central America mixed in between. And here's our whisper results on 10 meters. Uh, we tested around 12.30 this afternoon. And we've got uh, South Africa, North Africa, and Europe stations, along with some in the United States. Thank you for the park in Massachusetts, 7-3. 73, have a great day. From Kilo, Charlie 1, Oscar, Hotel Tango, at uh, Park Kilo. Well, there you have it. We uh, went across all the bands on this uh, homebrew uh, one-and-a-half wave uh, V inverted V dipole. Boy, that's a mouthful of stuff to say there. Anyway, we had a great time. Um, we made contacts on all the bands except for 80 and 12. I couldn't find anybody on 12 meters to hunt on Parks on the Air. There just wasn't anybody listed. So, Otherwise, we caught at least one contact across all the bands. And the uh, ZM2 tuner was able to match one for one on every band across every one of them. So uh, that was both on the SSB frequencies and on the uh, WSP, on the Whisper frequencies. Uh, it matched all the way across there. So did a nice job and uh, had fun. So uh, now I know this uh, work is a good multi-band antenna and it will perform. So uh, I'll probably uh, continue using this in the future and uh have some more fun with it so thanks for watching i appreciate everybody stopping by and supporting the channel and we'll say seven three Enjoy.